So we've got the flashing images here and like the distorted image to sort of show that um, it's sort of like foreshadowing that it's going to be a thriller. So like nothing's really making sense, not even the image. Um, we should have had the names probably for the title sequence a little bit bigger here because they're sort of faded. See, they're just flashing up at the bottom of the screen. Um, but the girl there with her hands tied up sort of foreshadowing that there's a little girl that's going to be harmed in this, which is pretty much what our film is about. And then we've zoomed in there to sort of create emphasis. And the name of the film's called 12 Hours. So here, Jack's in bed. Everything sort of seems like a normal morning. And then we've got the soft music that kicks in just to sort of ease him out of bed give the sense that everything's okay we put that black shirt there to make it look like he's a grown man and that's his work uniform and he's wearing those clothes to show that he's a little bit older and to connect with a male audience so he's going downstairs now we've used the light here to use him as a silhouette and this is supposed to be a shot of the um, killer behind the door because it was a handheld shot this is our favorite shot because it's looking out of the fridge and we just thought it was really creative and something we should put in and there's the sign that says I have your daughter which is spelled wrong Sophie. And Jack goes running away to check his daughter's bedroom. Sorry. We've used a handheld camera here to show a point of view shot so people understand that Jack's in a little bit oh, of a shit. bad situation um, and to give, him, give the audience his point of view. And we've used an over the shoulder shot as well to show that Sorry. he, to just show, how, to show his point of view and for the audience to connect with oh, it a little bit better. Here. here he's pacing. Which, contextually, you would be quite panicky if your daughter had gone missing. We probably could have had better lighting here because Jack's really dark. So now the sad music kicks back in just so people can sympathise a bit better. But we probably could have had panicky music here to show that there's quite a lot of stress. And there you go. That's it.